Are you curious what the cost of living is in Rockland, California? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to fill you in with everything you need to know about Rockland to see if it's the right fit for you. Rockland is a city in Placer County that's about 22 miles from Sacramento. Rockland has a population of about 70,000 with a medium income of about 104,000. Seriously, say that three times fast. Rockland's claim to fame is it was in the top 50 on Money Magazine's best places to live in the United States, coming in at number 43. Utilities in Rockland are about 8.6% higher than the national average. What sucks about Rockland is we have PG&E, very expensive, I'm sorry. But if you'd like to see what Rockland utilities really look like, check out my link in the description where I have a video about Rockland utilities specifically. The average rent for a two bedroom apartment in Rockland is $2,195. Now, right now, in 2022, at the time of this video, I just went and filled up my tank, $4.75 a gallon. That really makes you want to get a Tesla. The property taxes in California are 1% of the sales price. However, in Rockland, we have, or in Placer County, Sacramento County, we have something called Mellow Roos. It's a bond. It's an extra tax uh, that's associated and added to the property taxes. So your property taxes in Placer County will typically be from 1.125% to 1.25% of the actual sales price. Now let's talk about the important stuff. House prices, how far will your money go in Rockland, California when you're looking to purchase a home? The average median price right now is $742,000. Now that's actually up 18% from this time last year. Now, the range of houses that you'll see as far as price points will be from about 450,000 to upwards of a million. There are many houses of all kinds of sizes, of yards, square footage, areas, uh, a lot. There's a lot, there's quite a lot. And it's important to mention that Rockland has two zip codes, 95677, which mostly consists of a little bit older homes, uh, pre-2000s, and 95765, which mostly consists of newer homes in the uh, late 90s up into brand new. So while we're talking about new homes, I wanna let you know on all the benefits of being represented by a local professional when buying a new home. There are many new home communities out there, so it's important to know which builders uh, are good and which ones maybe aren't so good. Not only that, being represented in the inspection process, the negotiation process, and the best part about buying a new home is it actually costs you nothing to use our help. Also, if you'd like to know what's going on specifically in Rockland, check a link in the description for our two minute or less Rockland market update, everyone. Okay, it's time to actually see what the market looks like. We're gonna look at actual houses in various price ranges to show you how much bang for your buck you can get in Rockland. Uh, so let's get started with uh, 4049 uh, Canasto. I'm gonna start under 500. A thousand, and then I'm gonna just kind of work my way up. I'm just giving you an idea of a few different houses in a few different areas within Rockland. Again, there are two zip codes. We are in 95677 here. So it's a three bedroom, two bath home uh, on uh, 0.14 acres, 1,136 square feet. So just to give you an idea, just as a whole of the Rockland area, let me actually just go ahead and show you the map, okay? So I'm gonna show you the map of where this actually is. So if I zoom out here a little bit, what you'll see is we are about a mile away from the where 85 and 65, I'm sorry, Highway 80 and 65 where they meet. So um, this is basically the interchange here. And just if I to zoom out even further, just to show you where we're at here, uh, we're really close to shopping. You have everything from Costco to Whole Foods to the Roseville Galleria. Uh, everything is is really, really close here. So that is for uh, Canasto. So if I go back here, I'm gonna just show you some pictures. So this is was sold at 447,500. Uh, this house was built in 2002, surrounded by houses that are a little bit uh, older, right? Uh, typical houses in this area are gonna be built in the 60s most likely, um, some of them in the 70s. So this one was built. Sometimes we have open lots that people build on. So you can tell there was, it was remodeled, at least the kitchen was remodeled. Um, most construction in this area is gonna be uh, stucco construction, composition shingle roof. Uh, and you know, houses have established trees in this area. 
So just kind of go kind of go through these quickly, just to again show you what this looks like. So this would be an entry level home, right? Three bedroom, two bath home here in the area. Okay, so <clears throat> that's in the under five hundred thousand range. So now we're gonna travel over to uh, Terrace Drive. So uh, this is going uh, just it's actually not that far away uh, when you look at it, but if we look at Terrace Drive and where it's located. So uh, we're right off of Stanford Ranch. So Stanford Ranch had a few different phases. Uh, this is, I think, Stanford Ranch phase two. Um, but as we look here, this is up towards Crest. Um, Crest has a few gated communities. Rockland High School, it's really close, walking distance within Rockland, uh, Rockland High School. And this used to be a golf course right in here, as you can see. Um, and then there's tons of shopping in this area too. I actually live pretty close to here, less than a mile here as well. Twin Oaks Park over on the other side. Uh, so anyways, as we go back to Terrace, three bedroom, two bath, 0.13 acres, 1,600 square feet, a little bit larger, built in 1989. <clears throat> so we're under 600,000, we're at that 595 mark. We've done some virtual staging to the pictures, but as you can see, uh, painted oak cabinets, we have uh, upgraded flooring, um, granite countertops. They change out the kitchen. Good size yard. Uh, this is uh, a nice area, and there are several different types of houses in this area. Some of these have lap siding like this, and uh, some even do have tile roofs as we get uh, a little bit newer. So that's under 600,000. So now we're going to go under 700,000, and as we look at those, we have 6569 Powder Ridge. So to show you where Powder Ridge is, uh, Powder Ridge is uh, right uh, by Powder Pass Drive, right by Park. So Park and Pleasant Grove are both the same. They go through Roseville um, and all through Lincoln. It turns into Park once it turns into Rockland. So we're right on the edge of Roseville and Rockland here. Uh, but what's great about this, there's uh, Paneshi Park right down the way, Sonora Park. Uh, my children actually go to Rock Creek Elementary School, which is stellar, really great school. So as you can see, a nice little community. We have tons of parks in Rockland. Knight Ridge is our park where we go. We live up over here somewhere. Um, but uh, this, is a, this is a great location and a great place to raise family as far as uh, Powder Ridge. Now this is a five bedroom, three bath, $680,000. Uh, 0.13 acres, which is about average for this area, but 2,399 square feet built in 2002. So a little bit bigger house. You have the three car garage. You have uh, the Spanish style tile roof, uh, stucco composition. This is a, a, a wood frame uh, and on a concrete slab. So you walk in, you have a few different open living areas. Uh, the, the kitchen is remodeled. And uh, we have some drone footage here, long driveway, which is nice. It is actually really close to the park, which it's a, it's a really nice park over there uh, connecting to the school. So as we look through these pictures, you know, you have preference, right, as far as paint colors and such. Um, but what most people want to are interested in are usually the kitchens and the bathrooms. Good sized living space here. Obviously, you have much more square footage. So as you can see, you have some kitchen. So lots of cabinet space in the kitchen. You could tell cabinets were painted. Uh, and uh, we have some granite countertops as well. And the backyard has a covered patio if I can get there. Uh, these pictures are, uh, there's 89 pictures. So we have the ability to do 99 pictures, uh, which is pretty unbelievable. So as we get through, so this is an aluminum patio, also pretty common, they last forever. Uh, so good sized backyard. They got some grass. They got a large covered patio area. Um, so that's a that's a high quality home there. So as we go moving up into the uh, under eight hundred thousand, right? So we'll be in the seven hundred thousands. We have uh, five seven four zero Balfour Road. So uh, Balfour Road is actually right down the street from my kids' old school, which is Twin Oaks. So it's walking distance to Twin Oaks. There is actually a park right next door to the elementary school. Uh, you have some baseball fields, tennis courts, great park, great place to be. And then right down the road here, you have everything. So this is actually, I live really close to here. So this is, <clears throat> you have everything from Mr. Pickles, Don Quixote's. Uh, there's, uh, there is a Safeway here. There's a CalFit, all kinds of stuff right there, real close within walking distance. 
So as we go back to Balfour Road, uh, so this one, actually, let me go back. So four bedroom, three bath, built in 1991, 0.13 acres, 2,235 square feet, okay? Uh, great schools. Uh, we didn't move from Twin Oaks for any specific, specific reason other than we just bought a larger house. So as you can see here, three-car garage. The other one uh, was separated. These are together. This is a full three-car. Again, Spanish-style stucco on the outside. So as you come inside, you have some upgraded flooring. One of the highlights and what sells for more money in our area because we have the hot summers is uh, is a pool. So nice pool here. They do have a, a covered patio area. They have a composite countertop that they did. They did upgrade the cabinets. Uh, so those look like they're uh, upgraded shaker style cabinets. So two living spaces. It's a circular floor plan, which is common for this time and age of house. Uh, you know, got the bedroom and bathroom downstairs. So as we go back through this, you can see the living areas, but uh, we go back, it shows a little bit of a drone drone footage. And so here's the pool at night. Shows that there. So nice backyard, plenty of space. Uh, people will pay more for pools. So if that's one thing you learn about just even looking in this area, people will pay a lot of money for a pool. Totally true. So um, that's a great area in Rockland. No HOA on anything that we've talked about so far. I think that's important to note. Some communities will have HOA. Um, a lot of Whitney Ranch, Whitney Oaks, uh, there will be several. Anything that's gated is going to have that. So now we go under 800000 and now we are going to head to a place in Whitney Ranch. Now, Whitney Ranch is a master plan community, and uh, I, I really like it a lot. Um, when we were looking at the time that we were buying our house that we are going to raise our kids in, there just wasn't anything available, exactly what we wanted, a very specific things that my wife wanted as we had uh, you know, two kids about to have our third. We now have four. So uh, what's cool about Whitney Ranch, and feel free to check in the description, we'll probably have our drive-through tour. So we have a neighborhood tour of Whitney Ranch where we talk about it. We have a drive-through uh, and I do that for a lot of communities, which you'll find in Rockland and uh, surrounding areas of Sacramento. Uh, but Whitney Ranch is a master plan community of, of almost 3,000 homes. They're not completed yet. They're still building new homes. So if you're interested in new homes, feel free to reach out to me and I can fill you in on that. But Whitney High School is right here. There are five parks in Whitney Ranch. They have uh, the Whitney Ranch Clubhouse as well. Uh, so it, this is kind of centrally located right there in the center of uh, of Whitney Ranch, uh, which is nice. So uh, Whitney Ranch does actually cover the clubhouse. So this is uh, so the clubhouse has a pool uh, and spa, and it has a uh, ballroom and all that good stuff. So check out my videos that I've done about that for more information. This is uh, uh, on Ranch View Drive. This is a four to six bedroom, three full bath, over three thousand square feet, uh, built in two thousand ten. So these houses are going to be a little bit newer. Uh, great community. They're still building it. They don't have a lot of infrastructure, but it's still close to everything. But they don't have a lot of infrastructure inside the community as far as gas stations and stores. You'll have to drive a you know a mile or two to get to those things. Uh, so nice yard. Got a pool. Some people prefer having a pool other than going to the to the one for the HOA. We have a covered patio. So they spend some money on the backyard. And another Spanish style, I wasn't picking those on purpose, it's just what was available for me to take a look at for you guys. Uh, so they have, uh, they have upgraded quite a bit in here. And what's common in this area is uh, we have a dual color kitchen. So the island is a different color than the rest of the cabinets. <clears throat> so this is kind of another circular floor plan as well. Uh, bedroom and bathroom downstairs, which is pretty common for this area as well. So if you're looking on moving with uh, family members or you want to have that downstairs office or spare room, um, this would be a great uh, fit for you. Uh, what's pretty cool is there's a lot of uh, walking trails and green areas in Whitney Ranch that will not be built on, which is also great. So um, that's a great house for you. If you're, if you're looking in that price range, there's going to be quite a bit between that 700 and 900 in Whitney Ranch. There are a few custom homes there, but not as many. So <clears throat> last but not least, let's go to our last property. And our last uh, our last property 
uh, where I'm just showing you kind of the cost of living in Rockland right now <clears throat> as of this time of this video um, near the beginning of 2022. We have uh, 4817 Eco Ridge. So Eco Ridge is in Sierra View Estates, which is at the top of Sierra College. Some of you may have heard Sierra College, the actual college. Uh, there's also a street named Sierra College, and uh, this is towards the top of that. So there are lots of views here. This is a great, I've sold several homes in here, and, uh, and it, it's just a really nice community. There's semi-custom homes. Uh, this one particular four bedroom, two and a half bath, half an acre. So you get larger lots as well. One that I sold was actually a full acre as well. So 2,172 square feet. And uh, just to show you exactly where this is. <clears throat> so uh, let me get out a little bit. So see Sierra College. So Sierra College travels all the way down and you can actually even get to Granite Bay. Here. So Granite Bay is over here, which is a, also a very nice area. So up here, this is a little bit higher elevation here. So you have actually views of the Sierra, which is pretty cool uh, when you're looking out. And then Sierra College is right here. Plus they have a whole bunch of shops that they just put in. Studio Movie Grill, Walmart, Bass Pro Shops. I mean, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, that's the location right off of Highway 80 uh, for Eco Ridge. So as we go back to Eco Ridge, uh, this is a, a, a higher end community. There are several multi-million dollar homes here, uh, quite a few one stories as well, uh, which some people love. This one has a pool and a very secluded backyard, uh, which is nice. And because as I said, it, there are some hills and, and uh, some views, you're gonna have a few houses that are backyards that are a little bit different shaped, even though it's a half an acre. So uh, white cabinets, granite countertops, Nice and bright and open layout, great room concept there. Uh, lots of natural light coming in, uh, beautiful dining room area. So as you can see, it's just kind of a different level of home um, from the other homes. Now, what I'm showing you is a snapshot of what Rockland has to offer. There are so many, there are several acre properties. There are some older properties that have acreage. Uh, there are brand new properties that are completely wide open. So if you don't see what you like here, if it's not exactly fitting, uh, you know what you're looking for there are so many other options out there so this kind of has this bonus room here at, at the bottom uh, kind of a unique layout um, to the area so so I hope that's helpful for you just to see kind of what's available as of right now or what was available as of right now uh, if you're looking out here uh, new homes is is really sought after right now a lot of people looking at new homes so you have an interest in those feel free to reach out to me or my team we'll let you know which new homes to stay away from and which ones to move towards uh, so appreciate you guys checking this out and i'll see you soon i hope this information was helpful for you and if you have any questions about the community of rockland specifically feel free to call me text me or dm me we can plan a quick fast track call to talk about your housing goals or we can plan a city tour for you. Either myself or my team can meet up with you. We can actually show you some houses, show you around the city, and we can help find out if Rockland is for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see all future videos. My name is Brandon Leon, a local realtor here in Rockland, California, and you stay classy, Sacramento.